Hello guys, so in this section we're going to see how we can create an executable file, an installer file with uh, NSIS. So but first we need to convert this to a uh, compressed and zipped folder. So let's just go ahead and search for NSIS and let's run our program as administrator. So we're going to build an installer based on a zip file. So first I need to convert this folder to a zip file and uh, you don't need an external package, Windows has it already. So once you're on a folder, just right click the folder and then click send to compressed zip folder so we can have a zipped uh, folder version and there we have it a folder called uh, python apps which is a uh, zip file we can actually check that by checking the properties and we can see that it's a winrar zip archive file so now that we have that let's just go ahead and open up our uh, nsis program and move on from there so first i'm going to click on installer based on zip file and we'll open up that uh, zip file and let's just go ahead and find our location so we're in our uh, drive C. I'm going to look for my users and the name of your uh, system. And then we're just going to click on Python apps and select the uh, zip file. So it's going to ask us for uh, modern and it's going to ask us a path of the uh, installer. So we're going to just use the uh, default folder and the output is going to be uh, Python apps.exe. Now, if you want to have it somewhere else, this goes go ahead and put it in a, uh, another location we can easily uh, find. So let's just go ahead and uh, place it right here. You could actually place it anywhere you want. Let me just go ahead and look for that same file. So we'll just be in the same uh, location. Move, and I'll just look for Python files, Python apps. I think that will be a bad idea to put it in the same place. So I'll just put it on my uh, users drive and have Python apps dot exe. I'll just leave it uh, right there and leave the default settings and I'll just click on generate. All right. So since this file is not a uh, quite large file, it's actually uh, done and that was uh, quite fast. So let's go ahead and close this and just navigate to the location where it installed our uh, executable file. So if you just go right here, we can actually see that. Let me just go ahead and make this a bit bigger. So we can actually see our uh, files. And let's just drag down and look for the, uh, and there it is. It has the executable file called Python apps. So let me just right click on Python apps and run this as administrator. So it's asking me for a destination folder. I'll just uh, put that in the uh, same location and I'll just click uh, install. So it says the installation was uh, completed. I'll just go ahead and click here and show details and uh, click close. So uh, we're going to find it right here where it says Python apps and we can actually distribute this to uh, anyone. And remember, you can also distribute the uh, executable file to uh, anyone also by just copying the uh, Python apps, which is this one right here. Let's go ahead and make it super big so we can see it. So we can actually send this to anyone and they could actually install the application you built. So that's how we can build an executable file and then create an installer based on a zip file with NSIS. Thank you very much for watching and we'll move on to our next lesson.